I mean, it was a lot. I'm not used to that many goals being scored in a game. Um, I think it's the first time all year we've had three goals. Um, I was proud of our kids to kind of stay with the program. Um, we figured the goalie out. Goalie there, Brillica goalie, played great. First appearance really stymied us. Third period, we were able to get some pucks through, which were good. And uh, just real proud of my kids. So tough to get here. They've been through a lot all year, and I'm just, I can't be more happy for them right now. How is the record different from the time they played in They just played us physical, and their goalie played outstanding tonight. Uh, and we knew that coming in that, you know, that league, I think, is one of the best leagues around. Obviously, you got Shrewsbury sitting on the other side, Bill Ricca. Um, we knew we were going to get a tough game. That's why power seating works, because Bill Ricca is where they should be. Uh, they deserve to be here, and they played a great game. We were fortunate enough to get a couple bounces. I thought after the their power, the one that went off the girl's head and went into the net, I was like, is it going to be this crazy type of game? And it was. Their period was crazy. Now, I don't know if you already said it, but just three goals in a two-second span. Just how does that speak to how dangerous your offense is? No, I think, you know, it, you know, we say this all the time, you know. I think, and the thing is, is all year we talk about our offense, but we've been a defensive first team. I think all year we've only had 15, 16 goals. Today was a little uncharacteristic. And our best players stepped up when they needed to. Uh, Maggie Pierce, Jenna Chapman, Amanda Forzati, they really stepped up. Probably played their best period of hockey they played in, in the second half of the year. So that's what we needed. We needed that boost offensively. And we got it. Tell us about your goaltending. Yeah, Ange, Ange was battling through some screens today. They made it tough on her. They just yeah. pounded shots and just crashed the net. A couple of those I don't even think she saw. Um, so, again, things obviously we have to work on uh, this upcoming week with Shrewsbury coming up. So, um, But we have to do a little bit better job of um, getting out to the points a little bit and um, blocking shots. Yeah. It just no, you're garden bound. Just yeah, I mean, level there. I'm so proud of the kids. You know, obviously it's a goal we set at the beginning of the year. We knew it was a long way away, but we just kept working hard to this goal. And, uh, I know Shrewsbury's a great team. And it's going to be an awesome environment. I'm just happy for the kids and these seniors. They've been through a lot with COVID to give them an opportunity to to cap their high school career in the garden. I don't think you can write it any better than that. It's another MVC DCL team. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, I think the one thing I wanted to do this year, we played a lot. We played Andover, we played Barricka Chelmsford, we played Acton Boxborough. We, we, they're the, one of the best leagues around, and we wanted to play some tough competition. And we know we're going to get a great game from Shrewsbury. They're well coached, have a very talented team. So we did scrimmage them at the beginning of the year. Um, it's been a long time ago, but you know they're, they're they're forced to be reckoned with. So we have to be ready to go. Anybody's game on Sunday. Okay. Coach, real. It's been the first time in 10 years, yes, since yeah. we've been in the garden, so um, we're looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. Kind of three distinctive periods, one, two, and three. How, how do you explain the three different periods, kind of? I think the first period on both sides, you saw a lot of yeah. nerves. I think it, it, whatever you say about coming into an environment like this, it's a different environment. You have the lights, you have the big, the big, um, you know, stadium seating, and we just try to focus, play inside the glass, don't worry about what's going on outside the glass. I think once we settle down, you see both teams playing with a better pace. It was crisper in the second period, um, and we knew special teams would take um, a toll, and it did. They scored, a, they scored a power play goal. I think they scored two, um, and. You know, one thing we have to definitely work with, Higgins shows very multiple power play opportunities on Saturday, so definitely something we have to work on. Last game too. What? Yeah, I mean, it's been an issue for us, honestly, to turn too many penalties, so we have to clean it up, honestly, and we're going to be in trouble on Sunday. Thank you, guys.